Hi, it's Connie from Prosperity Finance. Hope you had a great weekend. Sharing the best financial tips so that you can be more successful with achieving your financial goals. Now, if you watch our um, YouTube channel, you probably uh, heard me talking. Um, I'm in the process of building my new home. Now, from the inception uh, to now, it's probably it's already a year, <laughs> and we only just started the construction work. So, for the last twelve months, we're spending time just doing design, and we apply for the consent, and I I made amendment, etc. But still, I have some regrets, and I'm sure once the construction started, there will be more regrets. I learned a lot of lessons along the way. The biggest one would be、um, there's many things I don't know what I don't know. Okay,、um, now with the finance,、uh, we also、um, you know we also notice a lot of people they came to us, and the existing finance、um, has. Some area that could be better,、um, but because they didn't know at the time, and they didn't probably didn't get a good advice,、um, you know, their structure wasn't ideal. Okay,、um, but it's very hard to change. A lot of times, it's not reversible. Like my、um, project, that my built projects,、um, I have some bad idea about how the floor plan could be, but. It's going to be too costly and take too long to, you know, make changes anymore. So it's not going to be fixed this time. Maybe for my future、um, home. I don't know when, but yeah, it, it can be、um, quite,、um, yeah, quite damaging, and、um, it could be a, a big regret. Now we had a classic example last week.、Um, I really want to share with you because that's why we want to、uh, keep this channel so that you can avoid some traps.、Um, so last week we have a existing clients asking us a very simple、um, thing. So、um, for privacy reason, privacy reason, let's say the client name is Mary. Mary has some rental properties and. She's in the process of building her new rental property. She already had a construction loan approved, and she has,、um, you know, halfway through the construction process. Now she、um, contacted us last week and told us that she、um, just sold、uh, one of her existing rental property, and that was mortgage free, so she can take the sell the full sell proceeds. Now.、Um, Her idea was to use the subsidy to repay、uh, her construction loan, and ask us to、uh, take the action and do that for her. Now,、uh, after getting that instruction, we、um, double check with the clients、um, her situation goes. So her situation was、um, she sold the property, so it's done deal,、um, and we know the price, we know the sale proceed, so that's the facts.、Um, Her goal for the for the near future, she wants to use the sale proceed to help her kids buying first home,、uh, but it's not going to happen now. She wants to use the money to reduce her、uh, lending so that she can save some interest. And construction loan is on floating rates, so it's kind of no brainer to repay construction loan versus other loans. And client also have a one rental property as a security for BNZ. Um, and they have、um, a couple of rental property、uh, as a security for ANZ. They have a larger loan with ANZ. So after reviewing her situation, we actually said、uh, no. We don't recommend doing that.、Um, and here's why. Firstly,、um, if you repay construction loan, there are two、um, downsides. Number one. Um, we already got construction loan approved. If you use your own money towards the construction cost,、uh, the construction、uh, loan drawdown will be reduced. And later, when you need the money to pay for your kids'、uh, first home, you need to reapply because the purpose has changed. You can't say I've already had approval. Now、um, they should give it to me because I just didn't use it.、Um, it's a two completely two application, different applications. The purpose are completely different. And the second reason is that. Uh, she will be subject to、um, the lending policy and her situation, financial situation at the time. So she may not get the loan、um, 
not not to mention, you know, it's going to be a tedious application process. So that's why we don't recommend uh, that. And on top of that, the construction loan is for her new rental property. Now, if you follow my uh, last year video, you will uh, remember that um, the new interest deductibility rule uh, for rental property um, has exemption for new build. What that means is um, if um, she um, use the sale proceed to repay the new construction, uh, the new rental property, her rental pro the new rental property loan will be reduced. Therefore, there will be less interest to offset the rental because they can continue offsetting the interest against the rental, right? Whereas existing property she bought in the past, they um, she only have four years uh, to offset the, the interest. After that, she cannot of any interest. So it's not a good idea to reduce the new rental property loan. It's, it's, it should be reduced existing rental property loan, right? So uh, definitely not to repay the construction loan. So then what to do? Um, how can she um, also achieve the same purpose to reduce the interest? So um, I mentioned that earlier, BNZ has a one rental property and the loan is much smaller than the ANZ, only 600k. The ANZ one has two rental property and the loan amount is much larger, it's 1.8. So our advice was to break the BNZ loan, subject to finding out the break cost, it shouldn't be much, um, probably none. And then um, we can uh, convert that loan into an offset loan. So there are a few benefits with that. Firstly, um, the full sale proceed can fully offset the uh, BNZ balance. Therefore, if she uh, doesn't need to, uh, if she changed mind and she doesn't need the money for the kids, they can pay off the BNZ loan and discharge their um, security with the BNZ so they can do whatever with the property. So it gives them asset protection and flexibility. And the second reason is that we uh, having offset, um, so give her the further f flexibility because she can use the money at any time. She doesn't need to go through full application uh, process uh, in order to use the money in the future because that's her money, okay? Um, but while the money is parked with the BNZ at BNZ, she can use the money to offset her BNZ offset loan. So uh, she can reduce the interest costs. And the second, uh, the uh, next benefit is that um, offset is better than revolving. If she reduces ANZ alone, ANZ only have revolving. Revolving um, is quite different from offset uh, in terms of tax uh, implication. Uh, they all have the same purpose, uh, same benefit of reducing interest. But with revolving, your money will be put into uh, that revolving loan accounts. So it's the same account. Basically, you repay your loan and then use the money again because you can redraw. It's like a credit card limits. You can use it anytime. You don't have to go through application process. But when you use it again, it's no longer for that rental property purpose. It's for your domestic use. It's for, you know, kids, um, you know, helping kids out. So you can no longer claim that interest um, against the rental versus if you've put in the offset accounts, the offset, you know, has a different accounts for the um, the saving and the loan. So that one day if you need the money, you just use that money and the, the loan start paying interest. But the loan purpose never changed. It's always for rental property, right? So it's make the tax more efficient, okay? It's legally minimized the tax. And lastly, um, BNZ offset doesn't have a limits. She can fully offset, um, you know, have a 600k offset account versus ANZ revolving only have a 300k cap limits. Um, so she can't really fully offset. So BNZ can achieve, you know, many benefits, asset protection, flexibility, tax efficiency, maximize interest deductibility, okay, interest saving, sorry. So after explaining all these to the clients, they just wow, they didn't know these things, right? And they're really, you know, they're really excellent in their field, but they're not in the finances. So um, they never think about these because they didn't know. So in the end, um, the clients uh, follow our advice and did exactly what we advise. It, it looks like a simple kind of thing, 
um, and we can just action on client's instruction. Uh, but we didn't. We actually um, reviewed situation and uh, we give them quite different advice. So this is similar to my new build project. You, you just don't know what you don't know. So always read on um, professional to give you professional advice. Um, if you, um, you know, borrowing significant, significant amount to, to buy a, another property or build a property, I probably require, you know, a bigger scope of advice because anything can go wrong, you know, during that journey. So, yeah, hope, hope you find this video useful. And please, um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't because uh, every week we have the best content to share with you to help you become more successful. All right. Thank you so much. I will see you next week. Bye for now.